Hello and welcome. I'm your host Phoenix Flacus here with a tutorial on how to farm money from Mr. Shakedown. Um, so there are a couple of prerequisites for what you're going to want to do here. Um, the first one is you're going to want to um, you're going to want to buy a from the uh, CP shrine, the completion point shrine. You're going to want to buy an ability called Mr. Shakedown's Deep Pockets. And that's um, uh, that's the sixth one down from the battle ability, and I, I'm just going to be covering Kiryu in this tutorial. But uh, um, these uh, tactics I'm going to talk about work for um, Majima as well. So um, you're going to want to get Mr. Shakedown's deep pockets, and then what you're going to basically do is lose to Mr. Shakedown and um, you're going to get a lot of money from them. And you keep doing that over and over, and you increase the amount of money you win exponentially. So right now, all I'm going to be doing uh, is I found this shakedown, and I'm going to let him beat me up. <clears throat> While that's happening, um, I also want to briefly cover the Encounter Finder. Um, the Encounter Finder is um, a reward for certain sub-stories from, <clears throat> from the game. Um, Specifically, it's sub-stories 9, 12, and 23 from Kiryu. You have to do those in order, and I believe you also have to be in Chapter 5 um, to be able to get the Encounter Finder. I won't spoil what those sub-stories are. <clears throat> well, okay, I will, actually. Um, they're basically one where you need to... Um, Kiryu pretends to be a producer. He basically fills, fills the role for some people who need it. And then there are two called uh, Miracle on Tenkaichi Street, and then the other one's called Miracle at Maharaja. So <clears throat> you're going to want to complete those sub-stories. This isn't required. This just makes it a lot easier to find Mr. Shakedown. Um, but you're going to want to complete those sub-stories to find um, the Encounter Finder. So right now all I'm doing is saving... Um, in case I lose, uh, I shouldn't lose to Mr. Shakedown, but uh, it's possible. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of a legend run, so um, when I fight Mr. Shakedown, I will be fighting him on legend difficulty, and I'm going to cover um, how to defeat him fairly easily uh, in this tutorial. <clears throat> uh, right now, I'm basically just trying to find a location to go inside, or somebody that to fight so that Mr. Shakedown reappears. Um, with the Encounter Finder, you're able to find Mr. Shakedown on the map, and as you can see here, uh, he's not there. I'll show you what it looks like when he is there in a moment. So I'm just going to get in fighting with this fight with this random scrub on the street, and uh, go into beast mode, make it a little bit easier on me, pick up a bike. This is my first Legend run, so... Uh, uh, that's not really relevant, but uh, it does make, I guess, I guess the point there was that it makes the regular street battles a little bit more difficult. Uh, the enemies do more damage, they attack more often, and uh, you can actually see on the mini-map there, that little pink icon is Mr. Shakedown. Uh, that right there is Mr. Shakedown. So basically, uh, uh, one more tip before we actually get into the fight here is, um, especially when you're first starting out fighting Mr. Shakedown and you're not really sure how to beat him, or, and you're kind of just practicing his moveset and everything, you're going to want to fight him in an open area. This is actually a pretty good spot where he's at right now. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight him here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let him... Like kind of, kind of come to this open area in the middle of the street here, and we're gonna fight him right here. I had 4.5 million when I started, um, when I let him defeat me. So we'll we'll see how 4.5 billion I should have said. Uh, we'll see how much we have when uh, we fight him. Um, just before we actually start the fight here, um, I just want to mention because it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to speak. Um, I just want to mention that he has four main attacks. Um, one is a single punch. One is a spinning sort of like tornado punch. Um, one is a charged 
a, basic, a charge, um, not a punch, just a, he'll charge at you and do damage. And then another is a combo attack. So there's more than one way to fight this guy, I'm sure. But um, basically what you're going to want to do is make sure you get your heat up in, um, in rush style. And you're going to want to bait his attacks until he does one that um, you can punish. So right here, I'm just basically hitting him so that I can keep my heat up. And then um, when he does the single punch attack, um, I don't like to go in after he does that because um, sometimes he'll, he'll, he'll do the combo. So, see, that's the combo attack. And if, if you run in and try to punish after he does a single punch, a lot of times he'll do that combo and then he'll catch you out and you're screwed. So basically what I'm just trying to do here is keep my heat up until he does a tornado attack and then we'll punish him. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that, like I said, you want to be keeping your heat up. So right after you do your attacks, you can kind of just linger for a moment um, and try to bait his tornado attack, which he hasn't done yet, his tornado punch. So I'm going to start being a little bit more quiet, quiet here, I think. Uh, so that I can focus on trying to bait this tornado attack. Uh, something else to keep in mind is that the camera can be a pain. Uh, that's that's one of the main reasons I recommend fighting him in a wide open area, is because if you get stuck in a small area, it's hard to move the camera. So, uh, I like to do two... There's the tornado attack. And then that's where, where you can really get some good damage in. Like I said, this is on legend difficulty, so it won't his health bar probably won't be as large for you. It actually gets larger the more you attack him, or the more you fight and defeat him. Um, and I, I think this is the last s sort of story um, fight for this version of Mr. Shakedown uh, that I have left. I already did the uh, the other Mr. Shakedown in Kamurocho. Uh, I already beat him for the last main story quote-unquote sub-story time. Uh, also, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that you get a little bit more money when you're still doing the um, the story, uh, the sub-story missions. Uh, the reason I say you want to keep your heat up is to... Um, so that you still have your, your top movement speed and this punch speed. Um, if, you, if, you, if you find a better way, you know, feel free to do it. Um, but I, I, like I said, I don't like to attack when he does his single punches. Um, just because I'm afraid that I'll get baited into getting hit by a combo. So I just like to dodge these twice or three times and then do the finisher. And that's mostly to keep my heat up and also do a little bit of damage. And then what we really want him to do is this tornado punch. And I haven't been doing it as much as I should because I've been talking, but you should... It helps to linger for a moment after you do your finisher. Uh, he'll, he'll be more likely to do the tornado punch than... And he actually will get another attack, but it's basically the same thing as his charge uh, later on. You dodge it the exact same way, just run away. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah, um, on Legend difficulty, he does so much damage. If you get hit once, every now and then you can get hit once and it'll be okay, but usually, um, like if he does that charge attack, he'll knock you down and then he'll do a follow-up attack, and you're screwed. So really, just it's best not to get hit at all, obviously, but if you can't do that, some, sometimes, you'll get, uh, sometimes you'll get a little bit of leeway, but you really don't want to get hit by this guy.
even on the lower difficulties, he does a lot of damage, as I'm sure you probably know. Okay, so now now he's charged up, so now he'll start incorporating another attack, which is basically... I haven't gotten hit by it in a long time. I think it's a grab. I think he charges and grabs. This this might be it right here. Yeah. See, so he does a, a jumping sort of uh, bear grab. I, I think it's a grab. I'm not 100% sure. I think... Or a tackle. Yeah, I think that's a tackle attack. But, like I said, I haven't been hit by it in a while. There may be a faster way to get through this. This is just what I find to be the safest. And you can do similar tactics with Majima. Although he doesn't have the rush style, so... Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, the best way to do... Or the, the way that I found that was best with Majima was to use um, Brawler. And basically do the same thing, except you only kind of do a one and then a finisher. Um, when he does the long-range attacks. And then when he... Um, you see, I'm losing my heat, so I've slowed down ooh, quite a bit. It's partially due to talking and just not focusing. Uh, w what I should be doing is lingering around more so that... Um, He's baited into the tornado attack more often. Like that. That way I can keep my heat up and also do more damage. If you're feeling uh, frisky, you can also, you know, kind of just get close to him. Ooh. Get close to him while he's kind of just standing around. Um, but you really need to be careful, or else he will wreck you. Like right here, Try, trying to bait a tornado attack. But again, like, here we go. I don't know. I, I it, it might, it might be shorter in the long run to just let him do that um, charge attack. That one, so that you can hit him a couple times to keep your heat up. Instead of instead of potentially baiting that um, that one hit attack that it's not super safe to punish. I'm not getting that finish on him. Oh, it's because I'm hitting three times instead of two, probably. Every now and then you can get it when you hit three times, but it's uh, ooh, easier when you just do two. And there we go. That's, uh, in a nutshell, how to defeat Mr. Shakedown and make a lot of money. As I said, I started with uh, 4.5 billion yen, and now I have over 8 billion I'll take a look here um, once we're done talking here. I, I do encourage you to read what they say there because it's pretty funny, especially the other Mr. Shakedown and Camera Rocho. I don't want to spoil that because it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good bit of dialogue. Uh, his last miss, his last sub story. So yeah, started out with 4.5 billion. Now I have 8.1 billion. So Hope this helped. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more content, content like this, uh, go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and let me know down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.